RD, this is a timely catch-up for us considering that it's officially the halfway point of the season. So give us a, a bit of a report card on your drivers so far this year. Um, a bit of a report card on the drivers. I think the drivers have actually done uh, a pretty good job. Um, I think as a team overall, uh, we've left ourselves um, a bit of work to do in the second half of the, of the year. So I think um, the guys have done a, uh, a pretty good job on track, um, but we haven't really haven't given them the tools always to be able to rise to the challenge that, w that we've had. Now I know you and the team have been busy developing the new car and there's I guess been a lot of fanfare and hype around all of that. You tested the V6 engine the other day. What can you tell us about the test and, and how the development of that's progressing? Yeah, the, so we're running effectively in parallel uh, two different programs at the moment. The new body of the, of the 2018 Commodore, which we'll see on track um, next year, and then the V6 turbo engine for it in 2019, but hopefully we see it on track several times next year. That's the plan. It's run so far almost faultlessly. Uh, we've spent a lot of time working on uh, making it into a supercar engine, if you like, in our environment without driver aids, the power that we need in this championship, et cetera, et cetera. I think next, next week or so, I think the plan is to release a bit of noise from it uh, because it sounds great. And let me tell you, if you had 26 of those on the grid, you know, not necessarily all um, all Holden engines, but a mixture of V6 turbos, uh, you, you won't miss a V8 for a second, I promise you. It's, uh, and the hissing and wheezing and banging in the corners is, uh, um, is great. So I imagine it takes an incredible team and amount of resource to undertake a project like this. How do you manage all of this, running a race team week in, week out, and have that project going at the same time successfully? Yeah, it's a big, it's a big ask on the, um, on the team. Shippy Grant McPherson has been um, overseeing the engine side and David Couch has been working on the aero side again with a, a number of different people. It's been great to watch them getting on with it, rising to the challenge, uh, going and seeking help inside and outside when they need it. And, uh, and really, I suppose, in the nicest possible way, coming out of the, the shadow of Ludo, who's, I don't know, uh, <laughs> I think from a team point of view, this story is a bit emotional for me. <laughs> from a team point of view, seeing them emerge from uh, somebody as competent and technically uh, able as Ludo, to be able to see them then sort of spreading their wings, it's probably one of the most satisfying things I've seen. His leaving the team was planned, but it was controversial in the way that it played out. Have you guys smoothed things over? Are you guys back on yeah, the yeah. terms? No, um, the Ludo part of it was uh, um, back in the end of last year. He just upset me, as I said. I thought he was du duplicitous at the time, and I stand by by that. Uh, by that. But um, when we were coming back from Adelaide, uh, I'm not sure if he fully understands, but I arranged for us to sit next to each other. <laughs> oh, so you arranged that? Yeah. I thought we should clear the air. You know, we saw each other at a podium but didn't say anything. So um, on the way back and within 30 seconds of, of Ludo sitting down, we'd shaken hands and, and we chatted for an hour about you know, all sorts of things. There's no doubt he's added something to DJR Team Penske. He's been, you know, incredible for them this year. So if you're going to beat them in 2017, do you need to out Ludo Ludo? And how do you do that? <laughs> so we, we certainly need to be on the top of our game. Uh, the guys all know that. Uh, they're fully motivated to do, to do that. When I was in Perth um, shooting the breeze with Roger Penske, uh, he said, um, that Frenchman sure lit a fire under under our guys, which I'm sure he meant very, very positively, because it has, you know, undoubtedly to me, he's lit a fire in there. Um, when, you, when you light fires, they use, you can suck some oxygen out of the room. 
and so uh, uh, and I've seen that a little bit in the past so um, I'm hoping there might be some oxygen sucked out of that during <laughs> during the year but I'm not going to rely on it we've just got to beat them on track which is where it should be Wincup makes a blinder well, we have loved every minute of the contest so far and I hope we have another Aussie standing on the top step of the podium this weekend because we're sick of the Kiwis yeah. winning. No offence to Shane. But it would be great to see Jamie up there and this is such a fitting place for yeah, him absolutely. to break that hoodie. Thank you for your time, Adi. We really no appreciate it. Great to catch up.